few minutes ago, my father's law license was suspended by the New York State. It is time once again for tweets of the week. These are tweets I collect throughout the week. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're news stories. Sometimes they're just things I want to highlight. So let's get started. We got a good week this week, including, uh, I think, two different clips. So let's start with this from Ian Young. You don't like vaccines because they are, quote unquote, unnatural. Stop it. Average human life expectancy in 1900, back when things were more natural, was 31. I think this is a point that you should bring up to anybody and not saying you're going to change anyone's mind, you know, any anti-vaxxers mind in in the moment. But anyone that is anti-vax because they view it, they view it as unnatural, you know, putting something in your body that wasn't always there. That's like that's medicine. <laughs> we've we've we're able to live longer now because of advances in science and medicine. So to claim that it's unnatural to put a vaccine in your body, well, you want to go back to when the life expectancy was 31, then uh, I guess go do that. But there's a reason why we live longer, and a large part of that is because of advancements in medicine. Next one here. This is hilarious. So Andrew Giuliani here, Giuliani's son, uh, Rudy Giuliani's son, says earlier this hour, five leftist judges decided to suspend my father, Rudy Giuliani's law license. Here's my statement. Now, I'm not going to play his version, uh, but before I play the next version, I just want to point out how this really, this really hurt me as a video guy. Uh, I went to school for video production and seeing a, seeing a video frame this way is devastating. Uh, this guy gets an F immediately, but I saw this reply that made me laugh. Spooky Force Francis here, Francis Wagner, put out, created this version. So here he is. <laughs> Looks like he's at a Taco Bell drive through and I'm going to play uh, some of this as it cracked me up. Hi, my fellow Americans. Today it's my fellow Americans, not just my fellow New Yorkers. As you may have heard recently, uh, a few few minutes ago, my father's law license was suspended by the New York State First Appellate Division of the Supreme Court. Now, the five judges that ruled on it, Judge Rolanda Acosta, Judge Diane Renwick, Judge Sally Manzart Davis, Daniels, sorry, Judge Judith Gishi, and Judge Barbara Kaepernick, all five of them are Democrats, three of which were appointed by Andrew Cuomo. Five to nothing, ultimately. Democrats with zero Republicans on there. Again, this is just unbelievable to see just how politicized all of this has become. I am infuriated by all of this. <sighs> all right. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we need to watch all uh, one minute, 21 seconds. But um, there you go. Just absolutely brilliant. So funny. And it's, it's just the perfect setting. You know, this wouldn't have worked if he was against, you know, a... a a gray wall or something, but here he is outside in the parking lot. It looks like he could be at a Taco Bell and uh, just brilliant job here. Once again, Francis Wagner, just beautiful. Love it. Next one here. Some great news in Brazil. Lula da Silva is way ahead right now. 56% to Bolsonaro at 26%. So uh, I am looking forward to this election. I have to double check when this election is, but here you go right now. Lula da Silva, one of uh, one of the world's heroes in terms of a leader that has brought millions out of poverty in Brazil in the past when he when he uh, when he led there. Now, again, running for be, to be president and uh, leading by quite a bit. Brian Kahn here tweeting out, I don't mean to alarm anyone, but the ground temperature in the Arctic was a staggering 118 degrees this weekend. This is terrifying, and I have to say, I have a really hard time doing climate change videos because I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, I feel like we know what the solutions are, and what else is there to say? I mean, you you have here that it's, it's staring us, it's staring us in the face. That it's it, every year, the world's getting hotter and hotter. You're seeing more extreme weather because of that, and it's going to get to a point where and if it hasn't already gotten there, where it's just way too late to do anything. And this, I mean, seeing temperatures like this in the Arctic, 118 degrees uh, ground temperature, you have the potential now where permafrost is melting to to, uh, 
creating more issues, of course, for for um, you know both the environment and and anyone living uh, in these areas. So it's just a it's devastating, and we are constantly up against the fact that massive corporations and people in power that simply you know don't want to do anything or are are actively working against any progress. It's it's a giant barrier for us uh, for us to be able to actually push anything through and, and change and have any real meaningful change. So there's going to be, you know, whether it's the Paris Climate Accord that makes it sound like, oh, don't worry, we got we got this under control, when in reality their goals are so low compared to where they should be. It's just this is a, a an issue that is not going to solve itself. And it takes bold change to be able to to, to actually enact it. And that part of that would be an infrastructure bill from Joe Biden in the world's superpower that would actually have a real transformation of energy into renewable energy and uh, moving moving the world forward, potentially being a leader in doing that. But of course, he's too busy trying to be bipartisan with Republicans who don't care at all, of course, about the environment. And to be fair as well, most Democrats, a lot of Democrats don't either. So it's they're focusing more on um, on the appearance of working with the other side as opposed to actually looking at what the problems we face are and presenting the right solutions for those problems. Mediaite here. Trump reportedly directed the, the uh, DOJ and other parts of the government to go after SNL and other late night comedy shows that were satirizing him. He complained about though these total Republican hit jobs from SNL on Twitter during his presidency. This just <laughs> goes to show you again how many examples do we need? Donald Trump's completely fragile ego. Imagine being so weak that you direct the DOJ to go after Saturday Night Live because they made fun of you. Every single president has been made fun of on SNL. But Donald Trump, because of his massively uh, fragile ego and also because, you know, he's just overtly terrible, uh, could not take it and <laughs> actually tried to get uh, the DOJ on or uh, going after SNL. Last clip here. This is uh, from Case Study QB, always bringing, always bringing those hidden gems. Here is uh, Larry Kudlow fighting against the idea of helping children. Check this out. Just last point here. You, you mentioned the magic words, Nancy Pelosi. Tell me this isn't true, that she said today that uh, child tax credits would be the equivalent of Social Security for children. Tell me she didn't really say that. I think Please. that that has been the, I, I don't know the exact <laughs> quote, Larry, but that is an argument that Republicans have had concerns with about the well, child yeah. tax credit because it it's now forever. paid out on a monthly basis, like I, a direct deposit into your bank account. And it'll last forever. I don't know. Anyway, Social Security for Children. Hillary Vaughn, you're my hero. Thank you ever so much. Yeah. How uh, how dare we help children? Children born into into poor areas, poor families. How dare you? we actually help those people, help those children? No fault of their own, born poor, need help, need food, need to survive. It is incredible to me uh, that they're able to say shit like this. And it's not even like, this isn't even news. No one, I didn't see this clip till I was going through uh, Case Study QB's timeline here. I mean, this is the kind of thing that is so overtly disgusting. But we are so used to hearing this kind of bullshit from conservative media that it doesn't phase us anymore. I mean, this, yeah, of course. Of course they're against helping kids who are poor. Of course. And also, to be fair to the Joe Biden administration, it's the one thing that he did in the American Rescue Plan that really shocked me. Bringing in the child tax credit and making it a, a quasi-universal basic income. Now, of course, they have to extend that. I think it only goes for about two years. But uh, to bring that in at all, I mean, really surprising from an administration that I just I thought was going to be just full on conservative. So good to see that there are at least, you know, aspects like that, that are, it's, it's possible to get something done through this administration. But um, again, just not at all surprising to see this. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Those are the tweets of the week.